Do you know that South Africa is the first country in Africa and in the world to approve of same-sex marriage? Shocking, right? Well, that's the truth. On the other hand, according to a global analysis conducted by the International Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, and Intersex Association, ILJ, in 2020, about half of the nations in the globe that have laws that criminalize homosexuality are located in Africa. In actuality, just a few out of the 54 countries that make up Africa have granted homosexuality the legal status they said it deserves. However, it is penalized by imprisonment in certain nations, but in four countries, including Mauritania, Nigeria, Somalia, and South Sudan, it is also punishable by death in some countries. When we think back in history, laws that discriminate against LGBTQIA people may be traced back to the colonial era in the majority of African countries. On the other hand, LGBTQIA populations continue to be subjected to stigma, discrimination, and widespread threats and violence as a consequence of their sexual orientation and gender identities, even in the present day. But things started taking new shape when in 2006, South Africa became the first in the world and continues to be the only African nation. Same-sex couples have to be allowed to marry so that they can enjoy the status to allow marriages between people of the same gender. Additionally, the Constitution of South Africa safeguards individuals from being discriminated against based on their gender identity. On the other hand, a bill was also filed in 2018 to prosecute hate crimes and hate speech. In addition, in 2020, South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa put into law the Civil Union Amendment Act, which prevents marriage officials from refusing to conduct same-sex weddings, and it still stands till today. Now, hate speech and crimes against members of the LGBTQIA community are still common, despite the fact that these developments represent a significant step forward on paper. In reality, the country still has a long way to go before it reaches its full potential because a good number of individuals still see it as something not right due to its bad effects on African culture and lifestyle. According to these countries, the legalization of same-sex partnerships is essential for equality. It has been stated that LGBTQIA travelers make for around 5 to 10 percent of the total number of visitors worldwide. Countries that are welcoming to LGBTQIA people also tend to experience an increase in tourism. Do you think their reasons are truly reasonable? Nevertheless, it is essential to keep in mind that the legalization of same-sex couples is only paperwork, which means that even after the legalization of same-sex relationships, LGBTQIA groups may continue to be subjected to oppression, discrimination, and violence. In spite of this, there has been a glimmer of growth on the African continent in recent years because an increasing number of nations in Africa have legalized marriage between people of the same gender. Therefore, the following is a list of some of the African nations that have legalized marriage between people of the same gender within the past 15 years. Before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel for more shocking things about Africa and its culture. Also like and share this video if you love it. Lesotho. It was against the law for males to engage in homosexual behavior before to the passage of the present Penal Code Act. However, in 2010, homosexuality was completely decriminalized. As soon as the law was put into action, advocacy work concerning HIV AIDS was able to contact more individuals within the community in order to give preventative techniques. This is because Lesotho is one of the nations that has been impacted the hardest by HIV, Mozambique. There was a section in Mozambique's penal code that prohibited same-sex partnerships as vices against nature during the colonial era. This clause was removed in 2015. Mozambique has a high level of tolerance, according to the Globe and Mail, but LGBTQIA people still face discrimination and violence at home, at work, at school, and when accessing health services or police support. Victor Madrigal Borlaz, the independent expert on sexual orientation and gender identity for the United Nations, visited Mozambique in late 2018, and he stated that the country had a high level of tolerance. Seychelles 
After parliamentarians in Seychelles agreed to alter Section 151 of the country's Penal Code Act, which referred to sodomy as a felony, and meant that it might result in a sentence of up to 14 years in jail, same-sex acts were decriminalized in May of 2016. A public speech given by the nation's president, James Michel, in which he stated that his administration will propose a measure to eliminate Section 151, was followed by the amendment, which was passed barely three months later. Botswana In 2019, Botswana's High Court made history by decriminalizing same-sex partnerships for both males and females. This was a momentous occasion for the country. Yes, it was a laws that had been in effect since 1965, when the nation was still under British administration. This law, which prohibited carnal knowledge of any person against the order of nature and carried a maximum sentence of seven years in prison, was superseded by this new law at that time, Angola. After the passage of a new legislation that went into effect in February 2021, Angola decriminalized partnerships between people of the same sexual orientation, a restriction on same-sex unions that dates back to the time when the country was a Portuguese colony was abolished by the new law, which also specifies that discrimination based on sexual orientation can be punished by jail for a period of up to two years. Mauritius Mauritius has joined the increasing list of African nations that have abandoned discriminatory regulations that date back to the colonial era by becoming the most recent African nation to decriminalize partnerships between people of the same gender. The Supreme Court of Mauritius issued a ruling in October 2023 that declared Section 250 of the Mauritius Penal Code, which criminalized sodomy, to be discriminatory and unconstitutional. In its decision, the Supreme Court stated that the previous statute criminalizes the only natural way for the plaintiffs and other homosexual men to have sexual intercourse. On the other hand, heterosexual men are granted the ability to engage in sexual intercourse in a manner that is natural to them. The question, what are the economic effects of these permissions in African countries? Has it solved the problem that Africans face in their various countries? Now, with the pressure on some African countries from Western world like United States, it's certain that more Africans will give in to this pressure to make same-sex marriage legal in their respective countries. Do you think it's right for the same sex to get married, considering the fact you and I were not given birth to by the same sex? Leave your comment down below, let us hear your opinion. Again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, you can check out our previous video which is already on your screen. Go watch it now.